flip it slightly so you're making a little dish. This was the original shape. But notice how far your fingers go out beyond your thumb. Todd knew when he selected this particular rock that it was going to have to change. Now slide your fingers so the that first knuckle on your index finger and your thumb come together and you end up with a cup. So the rock actually defined the sculpture. Then cock your wrist slightly and twist it and you start to get the idea of how this rock evolved. The small hand that is on top, the maquette, maquette uh, is a second version that we just had to do when Todd got here. We started sculpting it with the, flat, uh, the, 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 the clay hand that he made originally. And then we said, okay, we got to make a new maquette so we know where we're going with this. So if some of you have had your teeth uh, impression done by a dentist, uh, it's a product called Alginate. We mixed up a, a bucket of this pink stuff that has a little peppermint flavor to it. And maybe you've had that experience. Put it in a paint can, and Todd stuck his hand into it. All right? And in eight minutes, and it sets up. You know how it sets up in your mouth. It's a chemical reaction. It doesn't get really hot. The college president was standing where this young lady in the gray is standing. She's doing her text messaging. Okay. I, I love the attention. It makes me feel warm and cuddly. Okay. At least a picture. Huh? All right. Uh, and so the college president is talking to Todd. And Todd's just screwing around with this paint can stuck on the end of his hand. Because he can't get his hand out of the alginate that's set up. And so he's now sitting on the ground. He's got a foot on either side of the paint can trying to pull his hand out. And it's just not coming out. And you know, like it's hard when he's supposed to use some stuff. Put this in the So it's just a little structure. He ran an air hole from the inside of his car. Loose some air and then his hand screwed and he's able to pull it back out. Then we sell it out with a. Um, Metal uh, compression material, a plaster, a casting plaster, and the alginate was then cut, up, cut apart, and we ended up with this uh, this particular hand that he's been using for his maquette. Uh, you may notice he's a, a one glove guy. Uh, usually he works with two impact gloves because he's using the pneumatic tools all the time to minimize the shock on his body. But see is how the maquette. Excellent. Yeah, I have two A plus students. All right. Yeah.